should be working, right? <laughs> you let me know. Welcome to Kiki Wonderland. How are you? How's your day? And welcome to my desk. And to my hands. <laughs> welcome, be welcome. I changed the BGM to a, a Christmas one. I don't know if I did it. Hola, Juan. Ah! Tanto tiempo, ¿cómo estás? Gracias por el chat. Yeah, the, the Christmas BGM is working, yes. <laughs> I am still going to do a poll because I don't I don't I, I don't really trust myself or like stuff. This is what we're going to do in here by the way. Uh poll. New. By the way, my desk is a glorified school desk, so don't expect me to. <laughs> I don't even have a space, okay? Like, after this, this is my laptop and that's the whole desk. Uh, music. Oh my god, I can't type. Music. Christmas BGM. Normal BGM. The same. <laughs> the same uh, uh, playlists as always. And then... Pull. There you go. So, uh... The chat on the background's working? Yeah. I'm forgetting something. Wait a second, I'm forgetting about something. The subtitles. I knew I was forgetting about something. Oh uh, yeah, today... We basically, uh, well, I, I was about to connect my iPad and just lo, uh, YOLO, you know, uh, but like, um, words, I don't have words, help, uh, like, you know, just draw, but I'm in a kind of a art block, do you know what, what that, that is? Well, I'm on kind of that, which that means that I can draw, but like, if I, if I try to, Imagine something out of my mind is kind of impossible to draw. So yeah, I was like, I still kind of want to draw, but not like, um, you know, not like forcing myself to do it, like something fun. And then I remember, oh, I still have this manga, this manga set right here, and I will show you my new, my new, my new additions. Also, I, I remember last time this glove, I washed it. Hello, Caps. How are you? How's your day? Be welcome. So same as always. My delicious ink. Last time it was a mess to clean this up, so I hope I didn't kill it. It doesn't seem like nothing bad happened. But yeah, <laughs> last time that I used it, it was a mess. It wasn't on stream, by the way. This is the, the delicious ink. We are going to use it. We are going to drink it. Mm. This is my new addition, but I'll also show you this new addition. I bought a pen case. But, okay, so, so, I want, okay. I have a serious problem accumulating pencil cases. I love them with my whole soul. Recently, I have gotten these Oshis, which is like Kiki and Lala. Like, twinkle, little, tw tw little twin stars. This is so cute. It has even ribbons. Like, look at this. This is so cute. The thing is that, instead of a pencil case, I bought the tissue pouch. So, this is to put tissues. But, I repurposed it. You know, here are the, like, the... Here are like the leads, here are like the knife stuff, the the nibs. Uh, do I have the other nibs in here? Yes, yeah, they are here. And then if you open it, <laughs> you can see the the pencils, you know, which I try to fit as much as possible, but I couldn't. Also got this, which is a I to I didn't need I needed another mechanical pencil. I know you. you <laughs> I have a problem accumulating this and stuff. But look at this. This is so cute. It's like so pastel colors. Kiki and Lala are there. Lots of rainbows. So happy. Cats, unicorns, doggies. Now my melody. I changed this to be the black lead. Is this lead? Yeah. Like the normal lead color. Like they're cool. And these ones are pink. I don't know if you can see that it's pink. Yeah, also I decorated my pencils. Wait a second. <sighs> there you go. These ones. I got some stickers from AliExpress. They were like a dollar or two. 
Whenever I buy something from AliExpress, they always put me like, Oh, you can buy these stickers for like a dollar. And they know me so much. Like, because they know that I'm going to going to fall for that. And I'm going to be like, hey, stickers, one dollar. Give it to me. So yeah, I bought like some Korean stickers. And I decorated this like with uh, the theme of magic. So they have some decorations now. There, it's like a little rabbit in like a magic school. So cute, isn't it? And here you can change the pencils. Why won't you use this? So same white ink as always. I dissolved it in water because it was way too harsh last time. Then I had this on my bed as a stuffed animal for a long time, but I washed it not so long ago, and I was like, I, I, there, there's still so much stuff that didn't fit in the pouch. Like the, ugh, I got dizzy. Um, like the pencils and like the ruler and stuff so yeah and also this that i got from my mom from my medical equipment but this is like two bit drops of stuff so yes here's where those things are that's the all the new stuff now to the old stuff as i said this is chunky oof that was close <laughs> The reflection, the saucy reflection, that's not going to reflect to me because that way is literally a furniture and the thing that's going to reflect is going to be the mouse. A gamer mouse. That I didn't even want to, but I received it as a present. So, this is what we made last time. This part. I'm not going to use the tones. So you open this and it's like a whole manga. Okay. But ideally, uh, wait a second, you have to cut it and to put like something in here so you can read it after you ink it. Wow, I still don't finish this. I'm always like, I'm going to finish the little details in here, but then I get lazy. So according to this, we inked page two the other day, long time ago. So it should be page three, which is at the other side. Okay. This seems like it's going to be easy. I hope. I would prefer to put this like... Do I have washi tape? Yeah, I'm going to use it. The pole in po pouch is pronounced like pie. Po. Po. Pouch? Pouch. Pochi. <laughs> oh, you guys are... Wa you guys want to cut your beans today. Wow. I'm going to secure this so it doesn't move that much. And then we can start. This one is going to be so easy because compared to the other one, oh, well, doesn't have that much detail. Usually, you secure this on on the table because you know, I don't trust myself. Which fair enough, I have caused many messes in the past. There you. Are. They were so cheap, like these washi tapes. Got them from Walmart. They're like less than a dollar. I usually. I love washi tapes, but I don't get them because they are overly expensive. Ew. By the way, I don't have anything on my nails, and if I have something black, it's because I painted my nails black before, uh, like a week ago-ish. And what happened was that it's kind of hard to take off. Even though, like, it, it was already, like, halfway through my nails, so I just took it off. <laughs> I was like... Why even bothering to have it in there? It's going to look ugly. So yeah. Took it off. There's still some. Like especially like in this finger. I tried my best to take it off. Because I didn't want my nails to look weird for this stream. <laughs> but yeah. If you donate to the Nayumi. Know well that half of the donation fee will go into poly pencil cases. There you go. I had to change the G-pin. This is the G-pin. I had to change it. Because I didn't notice. It was splitting half. And I was like, why is it not writing? It's splitting half. Why the heck is it splitting half? I don't really know. I don't know what happened. But I have like 20,000 million replacements. They're cheap. They're like... 600 yen. What? How much did they worth it? I bought them long ago. These ones are very hard to find. They don't ship them here to the Kiki Wonder uh, to Kiki Kingdom, but they they do ship them to Wonderland. So I'm going to get and when I move out, I'm going to get like twenty thousand million of these ones because I use them a lot. 
And I still have like two or three boxes of these ones because I don't really use them. I use more like pink leads. They're leads, right? Yeah, leads. Even though they're like both in Amazon Japan. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The packaging, I don't know if you can see it. Is in English? Uh, if you go at the other side, it's in Japanese. <laughs> it's like, huh. Very confusing if you ask me. If you hear a uh, noise in the background, please. Uh, there's a restaurant that they are making like some sort of renewables, I'm guessing. I don't really know, but there have been, noi been noisy the whole ass day. Probably they will be still noisy, so I apologize on their behalf. Also, sometimes my neighbor just is like, you know what? We should drill today. You know, <laughs> the first thing when I, when I get a boyfriend, I'm going to be like, hey, we should buy a drill. And they're going to be like, what? No, let, let's just buy a drill. You know, for Christmas this year, I don't want you. I want a drill. <laughs> they're going to be so confused. I'm going to be like, eh, 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 wh what's happening to you, Nayumi? Today, for this Christmas, we're going to give our, our all our neighbors a hard time. We're going to drill at 6 in the morning. He's going to be so confused. <laughs> Ideally, uh, uh, oh, JP Ballads, you guys want to cut your beans, I see. Um, when you put these things in th into this, like, this is called, like, this is like the pen. <laughs> this whole thing is called pen, okay? It's like the pen holder. When you put it in here, uh, ideally you don't want to touch it because the, the grease from your hands will affect how the ink slides down. I know nobody, I know, I, like, I don't really have artists watching me. So it's not like they're going to follow my, my stuff, but you know, in case somebody ever wants to, some tips. Well, hello. Don't touch it. That's the tip. Also, uh, how it's called a chemical to take off nail polish? The chemical. Not like the, the nail polish removal. I mean, the, the chemical that's used to make it. Um, how is it? Acetone? Yeah, acetone, yeah. Ideally, you want to clean these things with acetone. Alcohol, uh, alcohol doesn't really work that well to clean these things. According to the manual of instructions of this stuff, you clean them with warm water and soap. But it doesn't work very well. It's better if you use acetone, the ink flows better. Congratulations, Epps. You're so good. Wow, so much people. Either ways, uh... I was going to be like stuffed animal. But they are going to be cleaned and I don't want to make a mess. I already make a mess every day, either, either ways. Okay, let me put the, the ballads. This is my biggest playlist so far. Wait, no, this is... Ironically, my I, I, Japanese idol playlist is called Happy Happy. <laughs> I'm going to make my playlists public someday so you can listen to them. should make a Spotify or something. Okay, now I should... Now I can actually monitor the music, so that's nice. I'm done making multiple playlists. I have one nice one and I have everything to it. I was like that. But then I was like, I don't know. I kind of feel like being more organized is better. But that's me. Like there, I think. Okay. There should be okay. There you go. Oh yeah, would you guys got I want the the thing with the play like with my playlist like where it says the the name of the song? Pampion for for following. Mm -hmm. ah, kiss for you. Yippee. 
I think for me it's better to have that way because instead of listening to the same music, type of music, I have multiple different songs back to back. Yeah, but if you're, I don't know, sad and you want, you know, to listen to sad songs to make you sadder, <laughs> because that's totally healthy. Um, and then there's like a happy song in the middle, that would feel weird. I don't know, that's me. What should we start with? I'm going to start with the Jipen. Then I use Spotify Q, Q. How do you read that word? And select the sad one. <laughs> I need to move this. This is not like. This is way too further away from me. Okay, this should be okay for the camera and enough closure to me. If I. Okay. You read Q like a Q. It's literally just Q. Wow. English and their amazing rules are changed with every word. I'm going to take the mouse off here because it's going to be a bother. Yeah. Start with the Jibin. Oh, this time I, it opened nicely. Last time I I, I opened this thing was super hard to, to open. No, I should actually have it like close enough so I can see the level of ink. Wow, I really wasted so much ink in that time. At least this is, this is not that expensive. If it were expensive, I will be crying. Haven't drawn in like a, a long time, so I should be very careful on what I ink and how I ink it. Not looking weird, right? Hey, my hand is very nice today. Anyways, have fun, Ayumi. If you need anything, just let me know on Discord. Hell out for now. Oh, okay, Cubs, have a nice day. Good luck with whatever you have to do. Ayumi will be here. She won't move. She will be eternally here. But yeah, as I was saying earlier... Uh, I do be really having a big burnt out of everything, really, not only like drawing, but like <laughs> everything, really, for some reason. I don't really know why. Probably because I, I was looking at my calendar and I noticed I have never really taken a rest. Like, the only quote unquote vacations I had were because I had to go. Uh, to our jaw surgery something weren't really vacations per se, even though I went to Argentina in that period of time. So I'm guessing that's why I was feeling so burnt out of everything. But yeah, probably when I move out, I'm going to take like a week or two off. You will be without denying me for like a week or two. Not like anybody will miss me, but you know. <laughs> So you guys know according to how stuff goes it can be very soon Ugh, i hate the climate today it's so humid sorry it's so dry that the ink just dries up immediately ah so sad carefully is it goodbye one of some, I, I really want to buy something that I don't know how to find it. I don't know if you, I, if you guys know, like, some sort of, like, plastic things that go, like, in this part of the pencils to grab it better. They are made out of rubber. It's so, yeah, I was trying to find them, but I don't know how to find them. I wanted one for my Apple Pencil. Then I noticed that I already have a rubber stuff, so I don't really need that. But I really wanted to know, like, how, like, the name of the thing. But I couldn't really find it. Now my hand is shaking, no. Oof, wow, I have a 
sorry. Why my hand is so shaky all of the sudden? My hand is like, nope, I don't want, I don't want to draw. I do really want to draw though. Please practice. I wanted to change the song, but I can't. <laughs> This would be so easy with melee pens, but with melee pens it's easier and I don't want to, like... Wait, you do it with these kinds of pencils? Well, they're not pencils, but they're called pens, you know? I don't know, it's... has like a charm to it, like a little effect to it, that I love. This is something from Clip Studio. But I guess like, you could just like, you know, make out like a mix of both, like a, a healthy mix of both. This thing of not having enough space on my desk is horrible. Because my model looks so weird. I'll fix it in five seconds. Okay, if I move this and put it closer, like this. That should be okay. I will be winking. <laughs> I think that should be okay. This song should teach you guys never share the important songs for you to people that you don't know they're going to be there forever. Because then they ruin the song. <laughs> I'm not mentioning anything, so Tadeo, please don't appear and say, Oh, she mentioned this person in the 25 seconds. Really, I love this thing, it's so cool. Things are so cool, isn't it? I love them. I don't know where I read that, where I, I'm going. There isn't like, um, they didn't allow like certain types of paint. And I actually, like yesterday I started to look into like the US page of things that you can bring into a plane and stuff. And you can bring basically anything. <laughs> like some fancy and old fashion, isn't it? I hate the climate right now, it's making it so hard. It's making like the things dry so fast. Like usually like when it's cold it dries fast, but not this fast. Yeah, they're so cool, I love them. I wanna draw more analog drawings and more with watercolors and color pencils too. Probably I'll do that after my vacation of just not thinking about anything. <laughs> Which will be hard. Because, you know, when you're over a professional overthinker, not, not thinking about stuff is kind of like the most hard, hard thing ever. Talking about uh, hard things, I was watching before the stream like an interrogation with uh, like a, pol a police interrogation to someone in a case, but it was like an analysis about their body language and stuff. And they were saying like the suspect is saying, and then, and then, and that means he's lying because uh, he's uh, like leaving stuff out. And I was like, I say I then. And I was like a lot. Maybe it's because I'm not native in English. I don't really know. But I was like, ah, <laughs> I'm not lying. Whatever, let it be. I guess it really depends on the subject that they're interrogating. Question mark. I'm not really sure about how police interrogations and like stuff works. 
Nice, nice, now you meet all Jim. Hey, it's on the hello, Dalia. How are you? How's your day? How's everything? What happens if I put the camera up further away? Then a Yumi model was frozen such a funny pose for a bit. Yeah. Wait a second. There you go. This happens when you don't have money and you have like a, a small ass desk. Okay, now it should be okay. I hope and if not, I'm going to cry. How are you, Chadel? How's your day? How's everything? How's work? How, how tell me about your life? I don't want to make a uh, manga a uh, guy, okay, so I wanted to make like I don't know if like Pixie Fanbox, Patreon, you know what I mean, right? And I wanted to release like every month I'm a full title Nayumi comic. It wouldn't be like that big though. And it wouldn't be like something and I also wanted like to like you know when patrons like are these patrons uh, like send stickers to their to their patrons. That's also cool. I wish I could send stickers. But then it turns out that if you wanna send stuff, you have to give up your 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 address and it's like <laughs> I don't trust these people to not dox me. <laughs> like someone can buy your patron just to dox you. That's dangerous. Pepica mosquito, Pepica. Eh, desodorante. Oh, I made a mistake there. I didn't know this word. Um, if a mosquito bites you, this might not be the best advice. Please don't take it that seriously. But uh, if you have aerosol, like, uh, you know, uh, aerosol uh, deodorant, if you apply it on there, it helps. At least for me, it helps a lot. And you're going to ask Naomi, where, where, where did you did you find that? I found, found that tip on WikiHow. I was so desperate that <laughs> I was so desperate because it was very itchy that I started searching on WikiHow how to how to make it better, and that was one of the tips. Oh, thank you, Tadeo. Wait a second. Wait. There you go. No, I didn't want to move myself. Ah. Well, whatever. I just killed it. Wait, isn't there like winter? Shouldn't mosquitoes not be alive by winter? Yes. Why there's mosquitoes if it's winter? Me confused. Ah, there was rain. Here there's only in summer, so... Last summer was horrible. My immune system is a mess. So I made a weird reaction to like the mosquito bite. Can you see it? Like this mark that looks like I got burned. It was a mosquito mark that I scratched. My mom always tells me put some cream into it, and like she, she's like you have to hide it. I really didn't care until until she started to tell me that it was ugly, and I was like, huh, it's ugly. I see. I still don't really care, but I care a bit, you know. Not enough to wear long sleeves, but enough to be self-aware of it. I think we're going to be able to finish more than one page. Can recognize some materials of this one from Clip Studio Assets. That's kind of cool. I don't remember, I think it was Vampire and the Rose on the on one of the magazines that I like. One of all the buildings were from Clip Studio Assets. That was kind of funny. Uh, 
but I'm sorry if I'm having a bit weird. I have noticed it, but I don't know if I can cover it. <laughs> Nothing bad really happened. It's just good things happened, and my 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 brain it was kind of like you know when something good happens and you're so used to bad things happening, you're kind of like, huh? I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> Nice, I guess. So yeah. The moving out stuff will be sooner than what I expected. So there's that. Which brings me to think lots of stuff. That I didn't really think about before. Because, well, it's not going to be my first time being, like, alone by myself. I already moved out once, the end end out very well. <laughs> mainly, <laughs> mainly because my ex's mom didn't like me. But, uh, Taleo, I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, I mean, I paid for my stuff by selling furry commissions on Facebook at that time. And now I don't really have that because basically started a new with a new name, I think. I wasn't really even famous. I just went into Facebook group as uh, advertising like, "Hey, I'm selling fairy commissions." You okay. <laughs> kidding? Naomi, do you draw furries? I I literally draw anything. I could probably even draw like make ass and stuff if I ever wanted. But yeah. I made a. I, not a huge amount of money, but like decent amount of money because I, was, I wasn't really charging much. My most expensive commission was like a full body for 30 ish dollars. Because whenever I try to charge more than $30, it's like... Kitty kitty, you know? Nobody comes. Because, I don't know. I know that. If I want to be a drawer, I still have a long way to go. Draw first equals bank. <laughs> Not always, it depends a lot on the people. You can make an alternative account for free art. I'm not embarrassed to be associated with that. I f I f furries are cool. I'm technically a furry because I have cat ears in it. Like, I don't mind furries. They are cool. They're so nice to work with, too. They, once they tipped me and I felt like kind of guilty. Like, how, why are you tipping me? I was like, no, please, no. Titan, long time no see. How how's your day? How, how has everything been? Yeah, are you prepping for Christmas? Word of mouth, a little commissions here and there. <laughs> Miss this little stream again. I need an ocarina to turn back time. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. And the karaoke stream too. If you need a, um, like, if you really want to watch my streams, I always upload a schedule. It's on the schedule tab of the um, of Twitch, and in the about page of of my channel, it's also there. To make a a a a, a meme, a ah, name. <laughs> mm. I mean, I do want to go back to commissions, but I'm currently, as I said, like, an art blog. I, I never had really vacations. <laughs> so, technically, this isn't a job, but at the same time, it's a job because I'm getting kind of paid. So, yeah. Um, so, after pro probably, if I take, like, lots of commissions, it would be probably after, like, a two-week or three-week vacation. Depends on how my body feels after a week of not doing anything. Found out about when I was playing in the bot and Zelena came out. Why well, I missed you? 
Thank you for watching the vods. I really appreciate it. And yeah, you finished true. Yeah, as I said, if you really wanna watch my streams, I also upload like in the Discord server. There's also like notifications and all that stuff. I don't know if you are there. But yeah, there's notifications, the schedules, and all that stuff. Since I'm probably moving out soon, probably maybe, uh, I wanted to like stream a lot. <laughs> So I stream more time. Not more time, more times. I think this is enough. Let's figure out how to get the specific Discord notifications to work on my desktop. Am I a computer right now? Not... Ah! A real boomer and I'm not a computer, I see. I'm cleaning the pen, by the way. Um... Words? That don't come to my mouth. Besides me using acetone to clean this. Um... Oh yeah, did you know that people were like... They didn't like the new Twitch, no. <laughs> I always confuse Twitch with Discord. Uh, Discord update for phone, I think it's very bad because they changed the UI. And even if you don't want to update the UI, it, it, it's like... It updates it either, either ways, which is kind of, you know, not good. I looked at it and it looked kind of messy in my opinion, but... My phone still doesn't upload the uh, up update to that one, so I'm still safe from that. Luckily. I haven't drank water in this stream. Wow. Guys, drink water. Now the deep in. It's going to be hard to measure the ink. I love this jeep and it's so soft. I prefer soft pants because my hand is not good. An elote? Oh. Is there a lot of like corn there in winter? Here's we're really like okay the cookie kingdom is very like um by seasons in the sense of like for example it's impossible to find strawberries in any other uh, time that's not summer or spring. Same with watermelons. Same with grapes. I mean, sometimes they do pop out, but it's very rare. In winter, it's almost like always or apples or apples or pears or apples or pears, sorry. Pears or pears? I think it's pears. Pear? I got confused. Yes, they are from here, and every day, no matter the season, tortillas came from here. Woo! Nice! I've never tried, uh, like... I mean, I have tried corn, but I cannot eat corn in a cup, or like... I shouldn't because of my jaw, as my doctor said. It's an invisible disability of me not being able to eat the things that I love. Like, for example, I love candied peanuts. Can't eat them anymore. 
I would break my jaw, and that's not funny. And the doctor said, I'm taking good care of it, like I went last week? Yeah. And they said they congratulated me because I was opening my jaw even more, and that I was taking good care of it. And I was like, yes, I'm trying to not eat anything, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I do miss candied peanut. Uh, it's something that my... It, it's like a very uh, cheap snack here. And I do remember going with my dad to the... To like... To go for a walk. And in the center of the city that he used to live. There was always... Old men... Selling candied peanuts. And it was delicious. Since they were very cheap, he always bought some for me. I mean, that is so weird <laughs> Because then you have like cute little moments like that But then you have like if I get sick He goes and runs and drives to my mom's house He lives me there he, and then he's like okay bye <laughs> My hand is still shaking I feel like I already played this song Might be crazy though <laughs> Did you manage to get the star? No. <laughs> so sad. Kiss me, guys. <sighs> Even... I don't know why my sinuses get so sensitive and then they start, like, pulling everything outside. Not even sick. Talk about sick. I have to get my vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm taking a medication that says specifically to not take vaccines Because it makes you immunocompromised? Compromised? I don't know how to pronounce it Hello Peter, how are you? How's your day? Welcome! How's the thesis going? Wow, Samuel. Thank you so much, Peter. <laughs> I kiss for you. Could you guys hear the meow? <laughs> I love that sound effect. At first, it scared the shit out of me. Not anymore. It's because I changed the alerts to made by, by Twitch instead of Streamlabs. Because I like the confetti. But if you guys don't like them, I can just go back to the other ones. I don't mind. I had to go buy your glasses. <laughs> Was that a cat or a dog? A cat! <laughs> I had to buy glasses so it isn't going for now. Oh, you broke your glasses? No! How long did they last? This year I got like two pairs of glasses. So sad. I heard it. Okay, perfect. I just searched for cat sound effects and that was one of the recommended ones by YouTube. I heard it and I was like, okay. You are going to be the chosen one. Mm, nope, that was kind of way too small for my head. Oh, your head grew, grew, grow, grow. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Some so getting the right pair of glasses is kind of hard. Yeah, 
like I felt like okay first I had like golden glasses and I felt like I felt pretty and all that stuff but then I look at the photos of me in golden glasses and I look like shit then I had silver glasses and I was like when I had those I was like oh okay so silver was my color because golden looked shit like shit and then I looked at the photos again and then like dude silver isn't even my color <laughs> and then I changed ones that were like black but they were golden those also weren't pretty they didn't look good in me and also like I I don't know those ones snapped very easily sadly but yeah they died very easily and then changed to the ones that I have now which are black but with a silver outline and i think that i look pretty on them but then we can change again the opinion and then be like here in some in some years to come and then Yumi will be like wow i looked horrible i'm going to change the song okay i use contacts for the same reason oh are they uncomfortable i wouldn't be able and didn't grow it, they just sold me the first <laughs> they could cost money. I mean, they don't care too much if it fits correctly. Hmm. This time I didn't want to, like, I went to a mom's uh, friend that sold glasses to make these ones because I made my first pair with them and they lasted a long ass time instead of the ones that snapped. So. I went to the to them and well it was a lady and she was she like she was like take your time you can try all the models if you want and then she was like wow that silver with black pair really suits you and I was like huh and then I I looked at the mirror like sometimes to corroborate and I was like hey actually yeah and she was like you can take any pair that you want but I suggest you that one. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, this one's in. <laughs> and before, before these ones, when I first got glasses, I got red ones. I really like them. Until they snapped. But I didn't got a replacement, so I just went without glasses for like 20,000 years. No, I mean, they don't... Ah, I read that already. Oh my god, now you mean you're sh stupid. Made this smile way too weird. Well, whatever. That's why we have white ink to delete all our mistakes from life. This ink is so cheap in Amazon Japan, but here it's super overpriced because it has the Copic brand. Actually, once I got super mad at employees, but like, not like me voicing my my concerns to employees, but more like um, to the store. Like I was like, why you are, I like I know you have to have profit, but why are you selling this so overpriced? Like, they were selling Copics and Copic ink to a reasonable price. The, then all of the sudden, this was before the pandemic, before everything, by the way. Then they raised the prices without any reason. It wasn't like precision, anything. No, nope. they just raised their prices all over, all over, like overnight. And I was like, why did you raise your prices? Nothing happened, econ like economically speaking. And it's like, I don't know. Like, I understand when stores need to get some profit of, out of it, but at the same time, it's kind of lame when stores care too much about profit and they try to inflate the price as much as possible until people are not unable to pay of this for stuff. Then again, art and art materials are a luxury. So I shouldn't get mad. What the freak is a hand? Hello, Ari! How are you? How's your day? Good morning, I'm guessing. 
was talking about overpriced art materials. Now I buy all the my materials from Amazon Japan because I buy them directly to the provider. They are cheaper and I can add stuff to my cart if I really need it. The conversion to yen is also very good. Very favorable indeed. I probably for this ink I will have to pay $40 in here. But I bought it for like 600 yen. Compare that to your local money. After this stream, seems I'm not sitting very well. My back is going to hurt a lot. Imagine the heart, the heart in the pharmacy being very naive. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Peter. Bro, I work next to an art store and sketchbook that was like 100 pages, but the small was like 35. Isn't it? Paper is so expensive. It's better to buy paper from Amazon Japan. Like manga paper, like this one, it's like 600 yen. The kilogram. The kilogram. Before here, Peter was super cheap, but I'm guessing it's because drawing became more mainstream. Um, they started to sell like very overpriced uh, art, uh, like sketchbooks and paper. If I could buy paper for two dollars, and now you can't buy any paper unless you have like ten dollars, which is lame, if you ask me. I was thinking, what's the next song? <laughs> it must be hard to work in a pharmacy, isn't it, Peter? Like, what if the medication prices go up? That must be like a hard situation to, to experience with clients and stuff. Heard it on the on the song. The song ah no. Your camera is slightly left because the bottom one is invisible, as visible as the others. Uh, so this is literally the whole page. <laughs> this is for my posture to not die. If you thought there was more to it, nope, there isn't. you could guys hear i would have like an ASMR microphone or you can hear like the pen nib going through the paper it's very satisfactory satisfactory satisfactionary yeah i feel my vms <laughs> but sometimes it just happens 
Uh, uh, I mean, Peter is in the process of his thesis. I don't think he can help just yet. Well, probably he's taking a rest from his blindness. Satisfying. Thank you. Satisfying. I also need to buy like meds worth like just in case probably like two or three months of meds before moving <laughs> I was like I should buy them I was going to go to the pharmacy but then I was like hey, I don't have the prescription it's better if my mom goes to buy them because my mom makes the prescriptions Even my doctor was like, remember to bring 20,000 medicines. Like, from, from your medicine, I mean. Remember to pack a lot of them. Satisfactory means that something is good enough and meets expectations. It's also a game. Yeah, I mean like the, the sound of this. In other words, you say it's a tool to satisfactory, like having something done well. Oh! If you get me a green card and some months to get a job. Peter, you want to have a sugar daddy? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, but if you really think about it, like, really thinking about what's a sugar daddy, I wouldn't really want one. I want one, like, a person to be with me with for love, not really for money. Like, money is cool, but at the same time, it's not me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have used in like those documentaries where they document like how a uh, sugar daddies and sugar babies like live and like the girl's like ah oh, okay I want to talk to you because you didn't buy me this I don't know this Dior perfume and it's like yeah <laughs> the dude is literally paying for your stay at home he's paying for everything give him a, a rest. And then the dude had to go all his way to buy, I don't know, a purse or something, Dior. I think it was Dior. Not the sponsor by any means, by the way. And then she was like, oh, I love you so much, daddy. And I was like, uh, uh. And probably afterwards, they did have adult relationships because I guess that's how the world works. You know. Amy, but it's a pharmacy six year job on us. I'll do my best, I'll... White people in America that shit up for you, huh? I mean, I was meaning the... Uh, uh, being like Ashwar daddy in general. <laughs> Not talking about your job, Peter, don't worry. But when someone speaks of green card... I don't really know much about immigration stuff in the US. I do have family in there, but I don't know much about that. And but when someone says green card, my, my mind goes directly into marriage. It's bad. Oh. Come come? Huh? Like yeah, you do have family in the US. And in Canada and in Poland. <laughs> Kinda lucky to have so much family outside of the country, but I don't know any of them. My uncle that's in Poland, that married a Poland, Pol Pol Polish girl, yeah? Is it Polish, right? Like the nationality of Pol Poland, Polish, Poland, Polish. Either ways, um. He comes once every 10 years, I think I told you guys about that. Do you remember meeting him and I was like, Oh, uh, 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 um, my dad's daughter, nice to meet you. And he was like, oh, nice to meet you too. You look cute, thank you. That was all our conversation. Uh, 
and I never saw him again. It takes you like 10, 15 years to com complete, and you are still treated like. Seriously? Bullish. For some reason, I don't care about those six figures salary. <laughs> six figures? Ah, six zeros, right? Don't try up. Oh, I just got your message, Ari. <laughs> I... okay. That's because I just sent it. Oh. I don't know, this part is so weird. I think I'm going to move this, it's better. Like, when I put it on streamer mode, so it doesn't bother me while I'm streaming, it does weird stuff to on a computer. Same if I in start uh, OBS in administrator mode, it does make weird stuff. I'm almost done with the first panel. I've been having problems too, but mostly with Opera. Oh. Oh, talking about Opera, I have breath. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the same stuff as, like, um, you know, when they say, like, uh, what's your, your source? And you say TikTok. <laughs> but I have been seeing that Opera is not really a good browser and that it data mines your your stuff or something I'm not really sure I, I saw it on Twitter Oh no I drank water I used Opera before but it used way too much RAM so I changed to Mozilla and since then I never had any problems I can do everything but Mozilla Can we really trust Twitter? You can't really trust anyone. <laughs> it's hard to trust this is. Like every single company probably has already sold your information to 20 of thousand and other companies. Probably they already have a profile of you. Probably they know like who are you, where do you live, your family, your your whole family tree without even you knowing about it. They know about that cousin that you never that you never met. They know about your your like you know your whole your whole your whole your whole life already. It's like when you start talking about stuff and then it appears like an ad on YouTube. That doesn't work for iPad. In iPad, I I never have like personalized ads. They're all ads about beer. Same with the iPhone. But I go to my computer and I get ads that are relevant to myself, which is kind of weird. They probably know. Yes, they probably know that. And probably they have your your dudes if you send to them, if you know what I mean. If you has had sent your dudes to someone, then probably they already have them. Do your schools have like intercom systems? Mine didn't. I'm saying it because I'm inking right now the intercom system. Ah, 
shaking. Don't shake. Well, I tried. I hope they like it. Yeah, Mike had them. Uh, congratulations for the star. It would have been so useful to have an intercom system. But the will. Today I went to buy like packing stuff and I saw a girl eating eating no drinking a frappuccino from Starbucks. Mm. For some reason I started to crave a lot of Starbucks recently. <laughs> it's expensive or priced and I shouldn't. But that makes me want to go. Welcome back, Caps! How's everything? As you can see, I advance a lot, actually. The playing cards in Japanese are Torampu. So... Yes, I had a hard time knowing which thing was which. Hey Gibbs, you miss a basic, huh? <laughs> no, I would never! I mean... <laughs> it's not a bad thing! I'm not in America. I would be eating living cookies if I were in America. And I would have my star bees in here. Now, but seriously thinking, talking about like, uh, phones? I tried Huawei, is it pronounced? Uh, Samsung and iPhone. And for the moment, the one that lasted the most and the one that I have the best experience with is iPhone. It has never frozen. The battery lasts me enough to charge the phone once per day unless I'm gaming way too much which is rare and it's understandable it has fallen from my hands 20,000 million times and it, might, it must be because I have like protector glass and stuff but zero problems when I had okay before I have this iPhone, um, I used to have, uh, like, the cheapest Samsung possible, or cheapest phone possible, really. So I got lots of Samsungs. They were very good until my last Samsung, which was horrible. Like, it died immediately, and not, like, in a bit of, like, falling from somewhere and more like um words you know when phones get like super slow like that it was impossible like it got slow so fast oh, oh it's okay Huawei I never liked the UI I don't know it's messy I don't like it And also, it fell into the water, but I, but now I know, years later, that she's still alive. I'll give it to my mom because she needs a new phone. And she was like, can you repair this one for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. And yeah, besides that, I'm a very casual phone user. So maybe iPhones are bad for gaming or something, I don't really know. But for me, they're good. 
Also, they come in pink. That's a plus. Though my iPhone is white. But if I ever change my iPhone, if I ever need to change it, I'm probably going to change it to the iPhone 11. Because it's like one more. Like, I have the iPhone 10. And I need at least a 10 for VTubing. So it'd be probably an iPhone 11 in pink. Like it's pink is the best color, period. There's also purple, and the yellow one is pretty. The red one is ugly AF. <laughs> I don't mind red as a color, but the I red iPhones are... I don't know, they're like way too bright for my eyes. My photosensitive eyes don't like it. Either way, it's going to be on a case, so it's not like... It will matter. But it's nice. I have an iPhone 11. I have the purple one. Oh. That's nice. How is it? Leave a review of the iPhone 11. For some reason, Americans really do like to use iPhones, isn't it? Here, they're not that common. They're like a luxury phone. I wouldn't have gotten it if it weren't because I needed it for B2Wing. When I was a kid, I thought the Red Ranger was really cool, so I always tried to buy red things. Understandable. However, I was young enough so that everything was either blue or pink, so I kept asking for pink things and insisting it was light red. <laughs> that happens. No, mom, is, is, this isn't pink. This is light. This is light red. <laughs> What was- who was your favorite Power Ranger if you watch Power Rangers? Mine was yellow. I don't remember who it was. But I do remember liking yellow and cheering for yellow, even though there was a pink one. Ironically, yellow is my second favorite color. My first iPhone I ever had is pretty. Ah, it's your first. Oh! Sunflower? Ah, Pegu, need to me on. One. I like the. Uh, uh, it hasn't given any problems until recently because it's an old phone. Since when do you have it? Oh yeah, the iPhone is also like the, the longest lasting phone I ever had. Has lasted two years. Usually my phones last like a single year because I break them very easily because I'm, my hands are made out of butter. I like their... oh! Like Isia A. Like can Isia fly to bottom down. Oh. They're going to work. Okay. I'm guessing. How about. Jaya is like, you can do it by the way. I like the red ranger until they introduced the green ranger. He was my favorite. Then he became the white ranger and I went around saying white was my favorite color. <laughs> How many times has your favorite color changed? Mine has changed lots of times actually. Like three. I bought that cheap Pixel 6a online. One day at and t decided to not let that phone to be on the network. And then said I could trade it and get a $1,000 Pixel 8 Pro for free. That worked out well, well for me. Yeah, that, that really worked well. Yes, I'm on that. I break things very easily. Especially phones. For some weird reason.
But yeah, my first favorite color was pink. When I entered school, it was light blue. Then there was a, um, my bullies were like, no, you can't like light blue. We all like light blue, so you can't like like light blue. So like, okay, I like purple then. And then I like purple for a long while until then I was like, hey, I actually like pink. And it has stayed that way until now. I wish I could know more Chinese to say more things to Faye. They have been like... Like, for example, this morning I went to buy stuff and Christmas presents. So they don't have time to study, but once I move out, I'll ma make sure to have time to for studying. Oh, I got so hungry, damage. I just changed my favorite color based on what I was watching before Power Rangers. <laughs> ah, before Power Rangers, it was TMNT. Teen Mutant Turtles? So my favorite color was green. And my grandparents surprised my parents by painting my room green one day. They were not happy. <laughs> Why they were not happy? <laughs> they don't like green? I always wanted to paint my room. But even like at my dad's house, I had my room. Like he never let me paint it. But I always wanted like paint like you know one like these walls here like white and then the side walls like from a color like let it be pink purple whatever I was obsessed with with uh, by that time. But I have been like liking pink for a for a solid five years, so it's, I don't think it, it will change ever again. After this, then it's the time for the brush. I'll use a small one. No, I should do the milli pens with the te text and then the that. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, it will have ended bad. I mean, me, uh, my dad painting my room. In. I was there once every 15 days, so it's not worth it. Like the cost of the paint and stuff. It was very dirty, and in 2020, like when the pandemic was happening, my dad was moving from there to like a countryside house, and it flooded. Like basically, my room was flooded. Flooded? Flooded? Basically, there was a big rain and the the ceiling just fell over. You think I wasn't going to my dad's house and I was just staying with mom? It could have fallen like to my to my head, and it was kind of shocking to see actually. I went to that house after that, and it was shocking to see, like a year after the thing happened. It was in very bad conditions, my dad didn't take care of the house. I swear to god that I just care what she did. This? Sure. Oh yeah, in the end this is sideways. I'm cleaning the pen by the way. If you liked it, this is Puzzle by Okohanako. I have separated the songs in here by artist. Was there a cartoon that you guys were like extremely obsessed with when you were children? Well, not necessarily when you were children, but like when you were younger. I guess probably it's My Little Pony. I had a sticker album that I almost filled completely. I still have the figurines that I'm going to conserve 
Because you don't, never know, maybe I can make some brownie money in there. Just to throw them all the time. I think that I don't know Jamayo Doremi or Jamayo Doremi is like, oh, I love it so much. No, I warned you. What? Uh, I like a three year old <laughs> Japanese. Huh? Nani, nani. I'm confused. There it is. It's the time for the Millicans. I have stained my nail, which is okay, but you know. It's a little bit difficult to clean. But it's okay. After the stream, I'm going to take a bath, as always. Oh, this song is so good. Elm Bullsy, like every normal dude. It was popular in here too, but I never watched it. Even to this day. Oh, seriously? Is this still on a mission? Like, Conan Tante, like Detective Conan. And One Piece. The One Piece is the friends that we made along the way, I bet. I don't think the One Piece really exists, to be fair with you guys. I can understand something you say. I mean, Detective Conan, Conan Tante. Like, is it still on a mission? I know that there's some movies sometimes. I love this song. I was like, why? What I need? My other pouch. Here, in Mexico, yes. Oh. Pouch with lots of stuff. Anyway, you are asking, what? Why this? This for to not actually stain like my fingers, and to not like put like ink or those stuff in here. It's nice. Also, I stain my in my nail. Hehe. <laughs> Magic kite to live in LA in my first unit days. Wow. That's kind of niche, isn't it? Tell me the most niche animes you know. <laughs> Probably mine is Pudi Pada. <laughs> I need a ruler now that I think about it. Uh, the Ripper is kind of niche. Like if we go more, uh, like with the ones that aired on TV here, probably would be Ka uh, not Kali the Star. Kali the Star is super popular. Um, Corrector Yui. Even I don't remember very well the anime. <laughs> you really like ending songs? Oh, this is an ending? I know it's an opening to something. Zero two is okay. Don't know if you can see, but it has like centimeters, inches to millimeters, fractions to decimals and stuff. And this is like in inches and in. Not like I'm going to use it for that. One thing that I w will definitely not miss from here <laughs> is hearing all day street fights. That's a bit stressing. Thank you for your 11 viewers, by the way. Recently, I have been getting like constant viewership, which feels nice, you know? Again, Nayumi Chips. But if you're doing this with a ruler, have a tissue and do this. Do it with a tissue because this is a metallic ruler and you can get injured. I have cut myself with this ruler many times in the past. And if you don't clean it up, you're going to regret it. Thank me later. Legends of the Galactic Heroes. Absolute niche. If I see a new Nayumi viewer, aka a new Yumi viewer, we keep them with the kneecap so they can leave. <laughs> no! Ideally, we want to welcome people with warm hands, you know? 
I don't know, I haven't seen anything new from like six years. I, uh, yeah, uh, 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 are you, are you guys watching like any anime of like season anime? I don't know what's popular right now with the cool kids. Nayumi is this causing me like a sensory. Okay, uh, it's probably the yippy, but things rubbing into things is one a major trigger that makes me have goosebumps and feel disgusted. Might I have to do it? Uh, I was also watching my Shiawasan on Kekon, but I forgot to continue it. I will continue it. And now I'm watching Otona no Purikyo, which is like pretty cure, but if they were adults, which is very inspiring. Like, it touches like in the hardships of being an adult and like problems of being an adult with the importance of keeping your young self alive still, basically. <laughs> Doctor Stone? Is that popular with the kids nowadays? My girlfriend recommended Haibane Ranma. I'm only in two episodes in though. Oh. Are you going to visit her for Christmas or something? Like, just asking. Is something common in long distance relationships? Like, visiting for Christmas or like New Year's? The most thing that I'm excited of me moving out is... I think I always said it. <laughs> Seeing snow for the first time. I'm really, 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 really... I always wanted to see snow since I was very small. So that really makes me excited. And to see like snow falling from the from the sky. What? Huh? No, I can only get to Japan once a year. We're not into Christmas that much. Oh, I see. Why you can only get... Like, if, if you're okay telling me, of course. Uh, why you can only get once per year? Is there like a ban or something for, for tourism still? Like from COVID? I know that they had like some weird bans. During COVID times. And that they could, there was like a, a bridge? It, it, it wasn't like a real bridge. It was like something that people from certain countries only could enter. And it was weird. <laughs> And I know that, like, the, the last thing I knew from Japan is that you could enter as a tourist, but only with tourist guides and the tourists are uh, approved stuff, which was weird too, but that's the last thing I knew about. It's half the price of plane tickets and half that. Being Japanese, she gets about half a deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's understandable. So it's about more cultures. And um, yeah, why fly to Japan is so expensive. It's way too expensive. Like I can fly to the US like five times coming back here by the price of one plane to get to Japan. Which is uh, which is insane. I have to get way too over here, sorry. I was also like looking at, like before my stream too, I looked at some short video on YouTube uh, of a guy that makes different st uh, types of videos. And it was about the most overworked countries. Had like Japan, like it's really overworked. But have you thought about like um? Well, now with the Korean boom is more like obvious about like Korean work culture. The thing is a mess. Like you know, like they like in Japan they have the nomikai, which is okay if you don't want to go. 
well not well not not always is okay like they were they will look at you weird if you reject too much going to the nomikai probably probably and in korea <laughs> like according okay i watch like a podcast um channel called rotten mango and the one of the like the girl that narrates this stuff is korean half korean half american i think and one of the things that caught my attention is that they have nomikais which is like going to with your boss to like drink but you cannot leave until they leave and they'll can be perfectly the whole night and you have to go back to work the next day and there's like specific services for people that do that which is like ah like people that drive your car, your car to your house after an omikai, which is like, huh, huh? Like I know all the etiquette of like, you know, if you're female, you have to pour like the sake or whatever they are drinking into there and, and serving it to them. But then, why you can't leave? Boss, it's 5 a.m. Can I go home? And the drunk boss be like, no, you have to stay in here. Mexico's number one, number one working hours to bottom in salary. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that in the video that Mexico is like 2,000 hours of work per year. And I was like, what in the whole heck? What in the whole heck? I hope, um, well, with time it's getting better as in Japan, like, it's getting better too. So I get, I, I hope with time working cultures get much better. I hope so. That they understand that at the end of the day. Even though there's AI, the people that work for you are people. They have their needs. And you should respect those needs. <laughs> you know? Like resting, having vacations. I'm looking at you, Japan. And having a pay enough to live normally, you know? That would be a nice world to live in. Like, I feel there's jobs are definitely too underpaid and too overpaid. But I forgot which ones I was about to talk about. <laughs> I had one! Like, people that make food? That's a tough job. Have you... <laughs> okay, I, I I don't have, like, the experience of making... Well, yeah, I do have the experience of making food for more than 10 people. This is stressing. They don't get paid enough. And people, like, from... Co uh, uh, how is it? Retail? Like, because some clients can be bitches. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> they should pay you extra just for the patience. <laughs> like, especially those Karens that like to complain about everything. Imagine you're just working normally at Starbucks and then the lady starts complaining. Like, okay. If I were like a food service worker, uh, trying to uh, serve my grandma i would kill myself <laughs> my grandma is super hard like i don't have harsh feelings towards her by the way uh, we don't really have a relationship with her it's just like cordial relationship but either ways uh that's another thing the thing is that whenever i go to it with my grandma and with my mom is a mess one time we went to the beach and we were like at the restaurant and we were eating dinner so we actually eat you know the protein and the side the, uh, like the, the the side dish you know and you had to choose and there were lots of meats and stuff and my grandpa was like i don't want anything i don't want anything and then he was like okay i decided i want mashed potatoes with fries <laughs> that's not a meal like, I don't know why, but they, uh, like, 
they get like super overwhelmed with menus probably i don't really know why really like i i don't try to think but since all times like people at restaurants have menus like you know you can look at the menu even if it's not a qr code you can just look at the menu so i don't know why they get so overwhelmed by menus <laughs> it's like it's their biggest fright and always 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 when we go to a cafe my grandma, even if the the coffee is like boiling hot, she always thinks it's cold, and she always goes like, ah, "This is cold. This is so cold. I can't drink this." And my mom goes like, "Oh my fucking god! Why did I invite her?" <laughs> like sometimes my mom just wants to relax and invites my mom, and she doesn't. Uh, sorry, and invites my grandma, and she doesn't really think about the consequences of inviting her. And then she's like, ah, I remember now why I don't invite here. <laughs> my mother is the same way. My brother got here a heated coffee mug for Christmas. The indirect message of, is enough. Also, um, important message. Don't drink things that are way too hot. This has been the committee of Nayibi welfare. But yeah. Uh, if you drink things that are too hot, it's dangerous. You can get a. Uh, that's kind of related to ca uh, cancer in your tummy. You know? So be careful with uh, drinking way too hot things, okay? I'm looking at you. No. You have to wait until the coffee cools down a bit. Don't drink it right away. <laughs> People in Japan eat food that's extremely hot. Yeah. My mom told me about that, that in Japan people eat way too um, hot food and that that's related to their high uh, percentage of people with gastric cancer. There you go, I, remem I remember. Because my mom works in cancer research, so she knows like, like the two biggest cancer, um, gastric cancer patients are from Japan and Chile for some weird reason. You would think the US is in like in the top three, but no. She told me all the countries, but she told me those two. Because she was like, I have like uh, lots of people from Japan on my reunions. And it reminds me of you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. But why people in your reunions or your meetings remind me, remind you of me? That's weird, but okay. I run into the... Okay, so my mom, when she works, uh, she works with lots of different companies, different people that provide drugs for the patients and treatments. Basically sponsors, so... I know from which countries they come from Mainly from the US But there's like from every single country in the world basically But I have noticed There aren't many studies in China For some reason and it, Or probably they are but they are like Post Like not accepting in, in, inversion in blah, blah. Basically money from the US I'm guessing because when I look at my mom's um, meetings, I see people from all countries mostly, but I have never seen someone from China. I have seen people from Korea even. Talking about Korea yesterday, it seems like it got into the main media. The thing that I told you about Twitch Korea just closing down. Seems like it's a very big problem because of something about the broadcasting corporations in Korea. People in Japan. Oh yeah, I already read that. I don't know why I thought I had a, another message story. Good thing that I managed to finish a single. Because last time I didn't finish it. I uh, like I already had everything like kind of. Advanced, so it's nice to be able to finish one.
my mom really wanted me and my sister to dedicate ourselves to clinical investigation. I'm sorry, mom, for being a deception to you. <laughs> Ironically, from my uh, family found in Mexico, 2000. I told you. I told you. It was 2000 and something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you that it was 2,000 hours in Mexico. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But, uh, I was talking about something else. Forgot. Still like four times richer. <laughs> so sad, you can't do it. Tell I hope you're getting paid enough. If not, I'm going to get, get mad at your boss. Give me their number, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm the VTuber that Tadeo watches. Yeah, I'm kind of mad at you because you're not paying him enough. with that oh yeah that my mom wanted me to be like working with her in that but I don't really have interest in, like it's interesting like the medical aspect of it but I don't really want to study medicine you know I don't have the brain for it and I'm sensitive to needles like when I move out I will have to take a 10 hour plane I think was it a 10 hour? Well, it's a bit more, I think, maybe, I don't know. Either ways, um, I have thrombophilia, so I have to, you know, uh, inject my tummy with anticoagulant. <laughs> and I have panic of needles. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to have to be like, mom, come with me, because if not, I'm going to panic and I'm going to die. Basically. <clears throat> Imagine me trying to be a doctor. I would perish. Make a whooping 120 a week. A week! Wait, is that in dollars? Choto, what are you working at? If, if you don't mind asking me, uh, uh, me asking. 48 hours. Yeah, but what do you work at? Like. Not how much you work. I think you will have to give me your boss phone number. Hello? Nah! Your boss should pay you enough. I'm mad at your boss. $120? Yes, that's what, what's what I ask. Yes. Wait, 120. 48 hours. A whole week. Are you serious? Wait, you earn like five hundred dollars a month, like approximately. What are you working at? Oh my god, I'm kind of surprised. Are you okay? <laughs> F. Poor Tadeo, no, they should pay you enough. Can you live well with that amount of money? That's mo that's the most important, probably, because it's like like in Argentina, like the Argentinian peso is kind of like dead. You know, like you could live there with few dollars, but people inside there are kind of dying, and it's not a good situation for them. I'd like to change more minimum wa uh, wa wa choto. How much is the minimum wage in there? Guys, appreciate your wage. <laughs> and you think that in the past, when I uh, when I was talking with my Mexican friend, I thought actually of me going there to live. <laughs> yes, appreciate your wages. You can do it, I believe in you. I hope. 
the demon if it's not enough or more like I hope it's enough for you to live comfortably and if not give me your boss's number and I'm going to to give them a call I noticed that depending on the text is chunky. It's not that bad. Okay. If you say that's not bad and you can live comfortably, then it's okay. And if you feel like they're paying you enough for the amount of work you do, then it's okay too. <laughs> but if it's not enough, then give me your boss number. Come by my tier. Oh, yeah. Then it's okay. My tears of the kingdom. This is what you And I'm glad that you can buy your stuff and st stuff. <laughs> That's what's important to be able to live comfortably. How is the health system, like the health care system in Mexico? It's just his perspective. Oh, okay. I do remember like okay so when i had my f well i i talked to him so we're okay but i i'm very bad at typing to other people so we don't really talk that much but either ways when i talked to him like earlier he used to work like before the pandemic like in a con construction and he used to live i don't know he he rented a place and he was he didn't seem to have problems like money problems the minimum wage in the US makes more than INLA oh Portadillo how much is the minimum wage in the US? I'm not informed in that aspect I'm so glad that you guys cannot see my face because I'm I, I, I lean constantly like forward a lot so many of which in the US is quite different between states. Oh so it depends on the state. What about New York? I have family in New York. New York is a state, right? <laughs> if Arizona is is here he will be like, nah Yumi, how you cannot know? No, actually No, I don't know. Do people from the US know their own states? <laughs> I have my glasses. Congratulations! <laughs> Would say that's right, but looking. Don't worry, Ari. You can be here and like, you know, don't worry. 
uh, like if people from the US know their states and if uh, words that if New York is a state New York is $15 an hour $15 an hour? It is $15 an hour That's a lot, oh my god <laughs> New York is a state, thank you Oh that, yeah Wow $15 an hour, that's a lot Here's $13, that's still a lot I don't know the minimum wage of him But to put it in perspective, the value of the dollar in Louisiana is 111 However, I work with a California company where the value is 0.87 In other words, I get paid more and have low living expenses That is cool There is lots of people, well, not many lots, but like lots of people that do that thing of like working online for a company like in another country. If, for example, people from people from Latin America working for American companies, so they get paid more. But I guess coming to that, those sorts of opportunities is kind of hard, isn't it? Racing to 14 in January. Don't worry, the 15 hours is nowhere close enough to survive here. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but maybe in other countries you would be living very well. People love to talk about wages and they seem to never consider living expenses. Yeah, that's important. Here, living expenses are kind of expensive. Okay, so before the pandemic, I used to, like... I get the card from my mom and she lets me, like, buy the groceries, like, weekly and to cook. But basically, the housewife of the house. So, yeah. Before the pandemic, I could buy lots of, like, groceries for, for $20. Now, to get like a decent amount of groceries is like 50. <laughs> that was like an increase of more than 100%, isn't it? I rather bought a condo in California worth $400,000. In my part of the country, there is a three bedroom house with a pool and an acre of land in a nice area. Wow. So cool. I like pools. Do you guys know how to swim? Nayumi does know how to swim. The bad thing is that people uh, like mm, I'm I'm guessing that even if Mexico has lots of working hours, like yeah, they have way too many working hours for a very low wage. For same reasons as pay. Pape? What's Pape? Escape to Mexico. <laughs> You're going to escape to Mexico? Iranian here will escape to another country? <laughs> You're cool be catting me? You know, someone, we should go all together. And you know, you know when streamers, big streamers used to make like a. Uh, Streamer houses, you know what I mean, right? So we should like get all together in a single big house and pay everyone some like the expenses. I think that would be uh, accountable. You know, but it depends on where we we make the house because if we made it in the U.S., we're going to starve to death. Ideally, we want to make it also in a place where there's good healthcare, so we can all go in there. Do you want to be in a streamer house? Maybe. When you live in a budget, you really only buy what you need. Mm. True. That sounds miserable. Imagine living with a lot of people in the same house. I don't mind. Why would mind? No air conditioner, so expenses like that. I also don't have air conditioner. In summer, I just die, and in winter, I just die. I don't have heating of any kind here. 
You mean escape to Andorra? Let's go to Andorra! <laughs> we call it bowling on a budget here in America. Yeah, like Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition Switch, yes. Once every five years. <laughs> but the car thing depends a lot on where you live because some places are like... It depends on how well developed is the... Um, the like... Ah, words. The public transport system because in some cities it's super bad developed. And you have to go by car even if you don't want to. And you have to learn how to drive even if you don't want to. So it depends. In that case, it can become a necessity. Rather than something that you would want. You know? In using Canada, basically. Basically. Here we have good public transport. I guess I'm going to miss that. Maybe since you wouldn't mind by living with other people, but it gets really bad. It's just nice to have a place for yourself. Living with other humans is so annoying. I wouldn't mind. I'm a person that can't live alone in the, in the first place because I get scared by everything. I would get scared by my, by my own shadow if I lived alone. I can't even sleep alone at night. I have to have like some sort of noise and have my dinosaur. If not, I can't really sleep well at night. <laughs> so yeah. Imagine at least for my opinion, the water money to get a new iPhone. The waste of money to get a new iPhone every year. I don't understand people that get a new phone every year. Said the one that broke her phones every year. But I got the cheapest ones. I then got an iPhone. I got an iPhone because I needed it to for streaming. Justifications, I know. Let me buy a, car, buy a car or you will die frozen. I will, don't worry. Or I will research on how the public transport is where I'm going. And see how it's in winter and stuff. I need pens. Sorry, um, brushes. I think I mean uh, about the small family sizes are right, but imagine this, those streamer houses. Yeah. <laughs> that, that could... Depends on the people. Because if imagine living with ten of my moms, no, I would, I would kill myself. <laughs> no, thank you, but no, thank you. Which brush should I use? Is your not half now? I think this one will be okay. How many years for another Zelda Connectors edition? I bet next year. <laughs> Imagine there's actually one next year. The leaker on Twitter, the one that's very um, good, like he always asserts on what things are going to get leaked, um, said that they were going to remake a game from 2007. I don't know which game. I'll have to go to clean the, the, this and then go for the white to clean all the mistakes I have done in my life. Imagine living with 10 MMs where they drop bars every day like clockwork. <laughs> ah, -da 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 -da. don't really mind noise unless it's like nighttime. Then I do mind it. And you mean the heat is scorching here, help? <laughs> You can do it, Peter. I believe in you. I'm cheering for you. Cannot help you because I don't have air conditioner. Though, luckily, I 
since I'm going to Canada, as you guys know, um, I, I have been training myself to be more accustomed to cold climate. Like, this whole winter, I didn't use, like, winter clothing at all. I put them all in, in, in my luggage, but uh, be, to not use it. And I got used to being with a hoodie up until 10 degrees. Below that, I usually put like a fleece um, shirt over me, over, and I'm good to go. My mom was the whole winter like, I know you want to, to get used to the cold before going, but are you really sure? And I was like, yes. I'm determined to do this. And I made it. Oof, that was hard. Hey, do you know that uh, those places build um, those places building stop heating? Wow. As we said, I don't have air conditioner. Neither a fan, <laughs> neither like heating. Uh, here in winter, I don't have heating. I just raise myself to that, I guess. Oh well. I mean, one of my mom's co-workers went to Canada uh, to study, and she ended up not even finishing her studies because it was too cold. So she came back. She couldn't tolerate it. That is scary. Why they're calling to the phone at the house? I'm not going to answer. I'm streaming. I mean, they I use a huge coat between travels, I mean, in Canada. I'm going to buy a coat uh, once I get there because here they don't sell winter coats. They have better insulation. I know that in the that in the UK they have good insulation it turned out to be an issue when they keep waiting because people's homes got too hot oh my god can you have like a balance between that? I don't know anything about constructions They have been calling my, my my mom is like in a age of retirement already. They have been calling her all the time to try to make her retire, but my mom was like, no, stop it. They have even been calling her to the house, so I'm guessing it's that. You can't really you're either prepared for one thing or the other. Oh. But there's probably in the there probably is a middle ground, I hope so. I can tolerate cold and hot very easily though. Though something weird happens and it's probably because I have hypo tension. Which is basically that your uh, blood pressure is lower than most people. It's nothing out of the ordinary and it's nothing like um, bad per se. It's just that my heart is a bit slower. So even in summer, when it's like 40 degrees, no, 30, <laughs> uh, if you touch my hands, they're going to be cold. My mom loves that. She uses my hands to cool her, her off all, all the time. But then in winter, she hates it. I also only hate hot days. Fucking dog shit. Of course, as a resident, I just have to survive, but I prefer cold. How how much was uh, how hot was like the hottest temperature that you have ever felt as a Brazilian? Mine was thirty seven degrees. I think thirty eight, thirty seven, ah, uh, other thirty nine, around there. I was dying. 
in that time I went downstairs with my mom and we just stayed there instead of the apartment and Toffee was still alive the poor Toffee Toffee had a better time because we put like in her cage like um fr frozen bottle like with frozen water inside it and she liked to well she kind of ignored it but I, I either way had it in there so she could cool off I don't know really it's not something I kept track of I mean here it's kind of something that you keep track of because it appears in the news like the hottest day of the year is this day and then you're like oh fuck <laughs> And then you're it you prepare mentally, you have the ice cream, and then you're like, oh my god, I wasn't really prepared for this help. Also, like my mom religiously watches news every single day. Even when I don't want to, because it's kinda stressing. I don't know why she likes to watch news on the TV so much. Personally I don't like it because they only talk about bad stuff. At the end of the day, that just makes, you know, stress not cool. But that's my opinion. My dad also. And something that I never liked when I was smaller I, is that whenever I have something to say, if there, the news lady was talking, even my mom does it to this day, she's like, shh. And I'm like, <laughs> That they had something to say, but the news are more important, I guess. But I always, I don't know, when I was a smaller, that really like was, was like, I don't know, it made me very, very, very sad. They're always doom posting. <laughs> Technically, it's very rare when there's like good things ha I like uh, posted like on. Not posted uh, like in the news. It's very, very rare. I'm guessing it's because good news don't really build. Like, people don't really want to watch news for good news, you know? Instead, people want to watch, oh, there was a murder. And then people are like, oh my god, we don't have to go out ever again. There was once that I saw in the news something about Hatsune Miku. That was the only time in my lifetime that I paid attention to the news. things to happen but it's right for them to be reported that but they're giving that impression by not putting it on the program you know i don't think that's a good thing and people feed on it like my grandma is always like i don't watch uh, this channel of news because they only th this one tells more news and i'm like ah oh, more bad things is not more news my 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 dear grandma any important news I check on YouTube? It's always important to stay connected to what's going on where you live. I don't really need to watch the news. <laughs> the other day, okay, this will happen like months ago, but my mom told me. I my sleep is very deep, but you can wake me up easily, but it's not like stuff will wake me up easily unless it's like an earthquake. Oh my god, who the heck is calling to the house? Stop. I won't pick up. Pretty sure it's a spam or something. Yeah, that was uh, what I was talking about. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, um, my street is not a very good street to live. Luckily, it's kind of closed, so like inside the residential area, nothing happens. But outside is kind of you know. The other day. Someone just stabbed a guy to rob his phone. Which I guess is always nice. And my mom even went down, uh, was about to go downstairs to help to, to bring the dude to the hospital. Because my mom is a nurse. 
whenever someone kinda dies, my mom always goes. Like, there has been, ha uh, like, for example, once in the movie theater, a person fell off the stairs and my mom helped them and carried them because she's a nurse. I'm guessing it's her instinct. I'm guessing. I don't really know. That either way is young. Like, the dude tried to protect his phone and the other dude stabbed them. And the street was. <laughs> I didn't want to know about it. I don't like to know about bad things. You know? And my mom was like, look at the streets, they're filled with blood. And I was like, no, I don't want to. And she made me. It looks like wine, though. And sometimes there's like wine colored fluid uh, or liquid or like stains on the elevator. And my mom says, oh, that's blood. And I'm like, <laughs> that's nice, you know. Yeah, I'm not living in a very safe place. But it will change. Can I report that if it doesn't taste like wine? I can also report it doesn't smell or taste like wine. <laughs> it does look a bit like wine, like spilled wine. It smells metallic, if I had to describe it. Like, wet metal. I guess it's because it's iron. Like, you have iron in your blood, I guess. And it tastes... It depends on the people. If, if you're diabetic, it's going to be very sweet. Mine is... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of... Acid? It's weird to describe blood as, as a flavor. Uh, from the times that I have sucked on my wounds, on my injuries of washing the dishes. Uh, it's kind of like acid. That, yeah, that is one of the blood characteristics. <laughs> At least you don't found found heads. Around my street, they have found uh, heads of people, yeah. Not in this street in particular, but around. I have seen it on the news. That's why I don't like to watch news. Why I want to know that somebody, somebody's head is in there. That's not, that's, that's not a good thing to know. <laughs> I already don't even go out that much. Oh, the subtitles is kind of like... Okay, now it should go back. In those true crime documentaries, a lot of times bodies are found by some random ass hikers, or sometimes like by kids that are just playing around along in like in the play in the playground, and you are like, ah, that's sick in a bad way. We're about to finish, and then after this, I'll go to rest. I bought also like 20,000 cardboard boxes to start packing stuff. Well, not 20,000, but like four. Or big ones. So I can see what I want and what I don't want. What to give away, when to, what to keep. Chame. <laughs> That's the craziest day for that kid trauma inducing. It depends on how the body is. But imagine, yeah, I I would be feeling very scared if I was a kid that just you know I would go play by with my with my friends with the gang and then we go and we find a body. Yes. Would be nice if bad people didn't leave bodies on playgrounds and just leave them, you know, I don't know, in the middle of the desert. That's an idea. The cookie kingdom security is lacking, yeah. We're lacking a lot of stuff, but at least I know that we have good stuff like the public transport, as I said. That's what they try to do. They didn't try good enough if they leave it in there.
Like, my... Okay, so my auntie... Uh, has a... Uh, someone in Canada. And she went there, but she came back because she felt alone. She likes to go to visit, but she doesn't like to, you know, stay in there. And... She... I always go with my purse, like, hugging my purse uh, when I go outside. And she was like, oh, in Canada, you don't have to do that. And I was like, oh. Like, uh, she was like, I miss the security in there because you don't have to do that. You don't have to go hugging your stuff. And if you've me like, she told me about, like, how someone, like, she lost her phone at the park, I think. And then she went back and a lady was waiting for her. And gave her her phone back, which is like, wow. Most people would have kept their phone, the phone, at least here. Well, they obviously want to hide it, but they feel often. Yeah, most most criminals are stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I have seen like documentaries and stuff. Most criminals are very stupid. They don't. It's like how you can do this? How you can lie like this? Lie better. I don't lie, but lie better. <laughs> It gets me a bit mad on how stupid they are. It's like, that's why you get caught. And you should get caught. You know? But some of them lack brain cells. And saying it as a person that lacks brain cells already, I think is a lot to say. Super Saiyan is blunt for seeming troll or painting here. Oh. Yeah, that. Talking about painting here. It's very that everybody gets found though. Don't tell them to try better. Yeah, I know. It's very if they get found. <laughs> but they're so stupid. Oh my god, they're... They're calling again. Either way. <laughs> this is what we did today. The whole... Sheet. I have lots of them left. So I could do some of them on stream. If you want. Yeah, that was all for today. I'll be living it, be living it in here. <laughs> Yay, you won! I'm sure you're very good at crimes that they would never find out. No, I would never commit a crime. Either way, sh name me over. No, I would never roll. Even if I had like the necessity to steal, my morals would never allow me to do something bad. Because at the end of the day, bad things. Kept, uh, like, you know, the bad karma, you know, bad things kept go, go back to you. And good things will also go back to you. So I prefer to, you know, not do anything bad. And anything illegal. That goes there. That's what I'm saying. Ah, okay. <laughs> Either way, that was all for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I hope you had fun in this chill-ass stream. <laughs> If you like that, tell me and we can keep inking. I have lots of ink left. Ooh. I will drink it off camera. Okay, no. <laughs> As I get up some candies once, they were great. Oh my god. Don't rub ever again, though. <laughs> the only thing I rubbed was carrot leaves. I also like on a um, store where they sold like bakey veggies. And I took the carrot leaves without asking, and then I felt very guilty. <laughs> but in reality, nothing happened because nobody buys the carrot leaves either way. But yeah, a drawing. Thank you. But is by Noriko? I don't remember. Kokichi, Kokichi. The manga is Kokichi. I just use this as a practice sheet. I started fish tank accessory once by, ex by accident. Yeah, by accident, sure. Yeah, that was all for today. Can we church on this drawing wasn't made by AI? My hand is in here. Wanna see my moles? Have lots of them. Can make like a triangle. Yeah, and see my beans. Look, they have blood in them. Can you see them? Ooh, ooh, okay. And it's all their stuff it was on purpose. Oh, okay. One time at school, the tiling on the ground was falling apart, so we took some of the channels and put it on friends' back. So we saw a few tiles from school. You did it before the, the TikTok challenge got popular. 
Congratulations. But yeah. A bit. <laughs> he was framed! Patum. <laughs> They're still calling! Oh my god, I'll, I'll be going. Ah, he didn't get in trouble. That's nice. Someone stole a clock off of the classroom wall and put it on the toilet in the cl in the bathroom. Why? Why do we, why would you do that? Tell me a good reason. It was actually fucking hilarious in exchange. Oh. Then it's good I yes. Ah, oh, they're not calling anymore. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, yeah. Have to go to wash all of this before it's too late. Thank you so much, Irina, for coming. Thank you so much for watching and that stuff. Tomorrow we have a stream of Pokemon, I think. No, no, no. It's Little Goody Two Shoes from my, from my phone. So please come. So <laughs> the phone bill is worth it. <laughs> oh yeah, that has been all for today. There to stay healthy. Two layers of water. Three meals. Enough sleep. See you tomorrow. I kiss for Irina of you and. Bye bye bye, Matane.